Hey, what's up? <clears throat> so let's talk about, um, I just want to mention these two sort of, I guess, classic fragrances from men, obviously, which I got probably like a year or so ago now. These two, Basili Uomo and Capucci Parom. I, I guess they're both, they both must be Italian fragrances. Um, Capucci, like if you look them up, is, I don't know, it's this guy that makes, he's really into frilly, frilly dresses and stuff like that, and pleats, kind of a high, how to couture type of fashion house for women, but this is a men's fragrance, I think they have a women's fragrance, and maybe just a couple, but I never heard anything about either one of these till I read this fragrance blog about some things and decided to pick them up, because I'm into classic fragrances, and they're really, they're actually pretty cheap. This, they're probably like 13 bucks or 18 bucks each. So they're pretty cheap, but they're kind of classic sort of fragrances. And I think they can work in a lot of places, including even in uh, more professional sort of environments. But so, I'm just going to spray each one of my wrists and sort of give an impression about them. So this is the first one is Capucci Parum. Um... Here's the bottle. I've seen some advertisements and from the 70s. I think this came out in the 60s. And the bottle, it looks exactly the same. Um, it smells really nice. So There's that. It's kind of a simplistic bottle, but I, I, kind, of, I kind of really like it. This has... Um, this is a citrus sheeper fragrance, I think. It definitely has a really nice citrus opening, a really nice lemony, citrusy sort of, but it's like a warm lemon. Like an, a sort of warm yellow lemon is what it smells like. And it just smells uh, really, really pleasant, I detect. There's like some, <clears throat> some really light sort of spicy qualities in this. I think there's some cinnamon, definitely. Like when I've worn this and it warmed up, I could definitely smell cinnamon. Um, there's even anise in this. And I think maybe I read that someplace, but I've actually sm sprayed this on and sprayed a different type of scent on and smelled them side by side, and I could definitely pick up anise in this. Um, so it's like a warm yellow citrus, and it's got a bit of an anise in there but you can't really detect it that much normally but um, and then it gets sort of more into a almost kind of a spicy cinnamon like um, like a woody sort of dry uh, dry woody sort of sheeper like base so that's Capucci Porum uh, it's pretty nice now let's try Basili Uomo. This one's quite different. Um, I think this one's definitely even more so of a sheeper, perhaps. But um, this one smells a lot more herbal. Uh, so here's the bottle. Um, it's just this green sort of bottle. And sort of got this olive, olive colored green juice in it. It almost looks like the Paco Rabanne bottle a little bit. But um, it comes off. This one sprays, it does that sort of mist smell. This one's definitely, or mist spray. This one's definitely much more sort of earthy, herbal scent. It smells, it actually smells almost exactly to me. The opening bit for that it lasts for a while. It smells like if you opened up a pack of cigarettes and you pull the little thing, the little tinfoil piece off and you smell the cigarettes. It smells like exactly like that. It smells like a freshly opened pack of cigarettes and you just smell the dry cigarettes when you open it up. That's what it smells like. And um, it's a really nice scent. It smells, it definitely smells really herbal. I almost smell a little bit of like dill or something. Like after that initial cigarette pack scent, I smell sort of like the scent of dill 
um, <clears throat> in this, and then it just continues with that sort of cigarette pack, sort of dry, earthy, maybe a little bit of dill or something, and then it gets, later on with this scent, it actually gets really nice, um, what I mean is it turns into a really refined sort of patchouli, it's this really rough, very dry, rough, dry, like patchouli type of woody scent, and it's, um, it's pretty good, it's kind of, you might say it's kind of macho, but it's a really pleasant scent, it's not, it's not a powerhouse or anything, it's not super strong or anything, it's like normal strength type of scent, um, of course you do smell it, and, uh, Basili is, I mean, Capucci is definitely more of a lemony scent. This one's, I don't really know if I smell any lemon. It's more, it's, it's completely in, like an earthy scent. Like a cigarette pack with a touch of dill going into um, a really, a really nice, really refined, very dry, quite rough, like patchouli sort of scent in the end. And um, it smells really good. Uh, you could almost compare this to like sort of like a quorum type, like similar to quorum in a way, but quorum is much more different. This is sort of take everything out of quorum but leave just the earthiness in it and you kind of almost get something like this. Quorum has a lot of aromatics and some juicy and fruity notes in there, but this doesn't. This is just a very dry, earthy scent. It, it actually smells really, really good. I really, it's a very refined scent, so, <coughs> so, um, let's see if they've changed it all. Well, let me come back in just a little bit, and I'll see if there's any difference in the dry down or something. Alright, so I've come back after a few minutes, and let's see. This Capucci Porom kind of mellows out a bit more. I still detect sort of the lemony, but it becomes more, there's a bit of just a woody sort of dryness. A woody dryness, but I still smell that lemony scent like before, but a woody, a sort of woody dryness comes in a little bit um, after it, you know, it dies down. It's just a, a really pleasant scent. Um, a sort of a sunny, pleasant disposition. Definitely sort of an old school scent. I mean, it's grown up scent. Um, came out in the 60s. Uh, maybe it kind of smells like it a little bit. Uh, smells classic. Smells smells nice. Uh, and here's so the Basili one. The Basili one definitely smells really good. Um, if you like the if you like your earthy scents and stuff like that, like I do, um, it's definitely become more, more of just a dry woody scent with a, a quite a I'm an amount of patchouli. Almost you can smell kind of that warmth, sort of, you know, not dankness, but that warmth, um, sort of syrupy earthiness of patchouli quite a bit, but it's really dry scent, too. It just smells uh, really good, so. Yeah, and this one's um, still a bit more of the citrus, <coughs> warm citrus. So, those are my two scents. Capucci uh, Porum, warm citrus with some, some dry um, spices and a little bit of earthy notes in the base, a cheaper base. Um, and Basili um earthy, woody, scent with um, a fair amount of patchouli. Uh, so let's, I tried to look up on online, I, I like to look up the designers and see what they say about their scents. Um, I haven't found Capucci's, uh, you can find Capucci's website, but they don't list their fragrances. Um, it's just, it's just a website for um, frilly and pleated, you know, ball gowns from a fashion house in Italy, Capucci, and so, but Basili Uomo is on Weruska 
Com, where it's good Joel is a company that I guess has them and it says Basili Quest classic pour homme created on purpose for a man of the refined classic at the same time modern style top notes with citrus touches of lavender thyme and basil a heart strong and spicy preludes a woody and vero patchouli oak musk and leather background a real male fragrance so there you go, there's the, 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 the two cents, and check it out if you're into that.